The following video provides a demonstration of the operation and maintenance requirements for the PTO Driven Air Compressor mobile unit. To assist the first time user, initial startup and shutdown instructions have been placed on the driver's side sun visor for the operator to review before using the equipment. Prior to operating the unit, it is critical that you have read, understood, and are in compliance with all national, state, and company safety regulations relating to the safe operation of your vehicle. It is also important that you adhere to and are properly using the personal protection equipment provided for you. When you arrive at the job site, park the vehicle on a stable, level surface. This will enable an accurate reading of the compressor fluid level using the sight glass and ensure that the fluid cooling and separation systems operate properly. Place the vehicle in park and set the parking brake. For vehicles with air brakes, ensure that they are engaged. Place all required safety cones, warning signs, or placards before operating any company equipment. This information is provided on the inside panel of the hose reel cabinet. The air compressor system is powered by the vehicle's engine through a power takeoff, or PTO, mounted on the side of the transmission. The engine must be running before attempting to engage the air compressor system. For vehicles with glow plugs, it is necessary to wait until the glow plug signal has dimmed before proceeding to crank the engine. This is particularly important in cold weather starting conditions. With the vehicle safely parked and the engine running, you will need to do the following before operating the system. Check the compressor oil level at the compressor side glass. The proper oil level will be in the middle of the glass. Never check the compressor oil level while the compressor is running. If the compressor has been running, Turn the compressor off and wait for at least five minutes before checking the oil level in the sight glass. Never attempt to fill the compressor fluid system without first eliminating all air pressure within the system. If the oil level is low, add the appropriate Vanguard oil at the fill port. Fill the compressor with the appropriate Vanguard compressor oil in small amounts, allowing the fluid to settle before adding more. Stop when the fluid level reaches the middle of the sight glass. Locate the compressor oil cooler. If the cooler is mounted externally, no action is needed. If the cooler is mounted internally, as with this unit, the back doors will need to be opened and secured before operating the system. There are three service valves within the hose reel cabinet. The test port valve, the quarter inch hose valve, and the three quarter inch hose valve. Ensure that each service valve is in the closed position. For the units with dual pressure systems, Place the dual pressure toggle switch in the low pressure setting before starting or stopping the system. At this point, it is safe to start the air compressor unit. The air compressor system is operated by the VTEC, Total Electronic Control Display Unit. The VTEC provides continuous system operating conditions, faults, warnings, and reminders to the operator while the system is running. The VTEC display is mounted on the door side of the passenger seat. Press the start stop button on the display to power up the display. As the VTEC powers up, the system will run through a series of diagnostic checks followed by an activate PTO display screen. Press the start stop button a second time to activate the PTO and engage the air compressor system. The PTO will engage and the engine RPM will increase to a high idle speed. When the system air pressure is met, the engine will drop down to a low RPM or low idle. If you are using air tools, pull the appropriate air hose from the hose reel. Attach the air tool or device to the air hose, ensuring that the hose coupling has been set and locked. Warning! At this point, slowly open the service air valve. Quickly flipping the service valve open will cause a rapid discharge of air from the separator tank and may damage the separator element. When you've finished on the job site, shutting the system down requires a few simple steps. Turn the dual air pressure toggle switch to the low pressure setting. Close all service valves and disconnect all air tools. And finally, press the start stop button on the VTEC display panel. This will disengage the PTO and remove power from the air compressor. 
The VTEC display is still powered, but the system is no longer active. The following maintenance or service intervals are required to keep the compressor and its components in good operating condition and to maintain the unit's warranty. Therefore, it is critical that you notify the service department when a service reminder is displayed on the VTEC screen. Also, note that dirty operating conditions as well as contamination in the compressor oil will make it necessary to shorten these intervals. Take the time to inspect the air filter, oil level, and fluid condition during your standard vehicle pre-trip inspection. This simple step should catch potential problems before they occur and prohibit many costly repairs. Service reminders are displayed on the VTEC for the following hours of operation. After the initial 50 hours, change the compressor oil filter, drain and refill the receiver tank oil, inspect the intake air filter and change if necessary. Every 500 hours, yearly or whichever comes first. Not included on the VTEC display, but critical to perform yearly, is the inspection of any mounted cooler and to clean if necessary. At the same time, you should clean the scavenge line orifice and filter screen. Every 3,000 hours or 5 years, whichever comes first, you will be notified to replace the receiver tank separator element. Your prompt notification of these service intervals to your service department, as well as your daily inspection, will enable you to enjoy the benefits of a well-maintained, reliable working vehicle. If you have any questions, service comments, or concerns, please contact your nearest service location or call Van Air at 1-844-826-7378 for further assistance.